marvelous. Did I say that right? Eastern coastal region where right now we're finally having some cool days. We're enjoying it because it's been hot, y'all. At 98 degrees, it's been kicking our tail. But we hope you enjoy yourselves. Sit back, relax, and say, ooh, aren't they doing an excellent job? I could do this for the next two or three hours. No, let's keep it two hours. I got a baby shower to go to. Just teasing. Okie dokie. Hope you all enjoy. And Renee Galloway Johnson, please let us know if you have any concerns. Please let us know of suggestions. And please enjoy us. Bye. Turning it back to Arthur. Thanks, Renee. We'll jump right in to the day two agenda for your regional leadership conference, beginning with a very timely presentation from our Region 6 Professionals Chair, Taylor Jacobs. Taylor, you can take control and take it away. You may still be on mute, Taylor. I was definitely on mute. I had started my presentation and everything. Okay, for those that don't know, my name is Taylor Jacobs. I'm the Region 6 Professionals Chair, currently located in Los Angeles. So we are going to go over the Chapter Health Assessment Overview and kind of go into details about what to expect from the assessment and how you and your chapter can go through it. So feel free if you have any questions to um, use the chat or raise your hand or come off mute at any time. Okay, so a little bit of an overview. The chapter health assessment is a part of CHIP, so it will be the first part. Um, it's used for chapters to gauge where they are and where they can improve. Today, you're going to learn how to use the assessment and you'll also receive the tool. And within the first week of October, you will meet with your regional leaders in order to go over it, ways that you've identified you can improve, and your regional leaders will also give you feedback on ways that you can improve as well. Um, so next, I'll go to the next slide. So just there's different components to the chapter assessment. So you have the communications, finances, fundraising, programs, membership and admin sections. So each section has different uh, areas that you will go and rate yourself as a chapter. And it will give you feedback and your dashboard and everything, and we're gonna get into that. So the first step is to go through the development stage. You wanna rate yourself as a chapter zero, one, or two. So zero would be not in development yet. One would be in development and two would be fully developed. So in this part three here, you would rate yourself. Um, so you may wanna come together as chapter leaders to kind of gauge, like I said, there's five different components. Um, so you may need a, a couple people from your board in order to go through it. And you're gonna wanna watch, walk through each indicator in order to rank your chapter. And this just kind of gives you a little bit of overview on which section, what section means. So for zero, not in development, um, this indicator is marked as not in development can mean one of several things, including Nesby chapter is not aware of the need to meet the requirement. Nesby chapter has not developed, nor is working to develop this indicator presently. Um, and all of this information is also within the Excel sheet as well. And for if you mark one, that means that it's in development, sort of in progress. Um, you're working towards attaining it and you have implemented some goals in order to achieve it. And fully developed um, demonstrates that the NSB chapter has fully developed an essential recommended or bonus operational needed. And however, the chapter should continue to review these indicators in the future to make sure that you are on track. So this is the section that you're going to I'll show again. So that's where you would rank here. Um, here within this development stage. Next, you will see here for the indicator points and competency area percentage. So within this area, you will see that 
this will automatically populate based on the inputs that you and your chapter put in. So this is just an example here. Um, so I went through, said, okay, I felt fully developed in this area. Our chapter hasn't started in this area. And then here one, we are um, partially in development. And so then based off of these numbers, the Excel sheet will automatically give you points and give you a percentage on where you are. So for this one, this was the competency area of email. And you will go through that for each section. And again, if there's any questions, feel free to stop me. And this will just kind of allow you to gauge where you are in each area. So once you go through the entire sheet, you'll go back to your first tab, which is the dashboard. The dashboard will have aggregated data. It will give an overall chapter health score, and it will graph each component against the specif specified competency areas. So I just took some screenshots again. I put in data just so that you can kind of see, and um, we're after the slides, we'll kind of have a live demo there. So this is some of the aggregated data. It will kind of show you based off of the percentages that you've inputted. So on the out here, on the outside here is the different indicators um, based off of what you filled in. So you can kind of see it as a whole how your chapter is doing. Next, it will also give you an overall chapter health score. So based off of the data that I put in, it was a 63%. Um, so this just kind of lets you know how your chapter is kind of doing overall. And then it will also break down each component um, and the indicators that were within. Um, so this one is the communications component, finance, and fundraising. I just did the first three just so you can kind of get a feel for what you will see within the Excel sheet. So this, these last three sides here will all be within your dashboard. So once you fill out the entire spreadsheet, this is where you will be able to go and break down that data. So after you've gone through you and your chapters, you sat down, you inputted all of your data, you went through the dashboard, you've kind of gone over all of the metrics, now you want to go back and do step four. If you have not, if you are put zero or one, um, you really want to say what you can do as a chapter to get to that next level. So if something is not developed in zero in your recommendation area, you're going to want to put in uh, what you plan to do in order to get to one in development. And same for if you are one in development, you want to say what your chapter can do in order to become fully developed. So this is a kind of a, you know, working, breathing document that you and your chapter want to use um, over the years and something that you can also go back to um, throughout this year to say, OK, we were a little bit underdeveloped in this area. Now we had these goals and we are implementing them throughout the year. So the recommendation, you want to take the first stab at that and put in the information. So once you have completed this, we're striving to have um, this done by October 1st, going through it to rate yourself as a chapter, looking over the data, and also putting in recommendations. So we would like to have this done by October 1st for chapters. And after you have filled out the assessment, then you should send them to your regional leaders. So you're going to send it in an email or however you decide to communicate to your regional leaders this information. And during the first week of October, um, we're going to try to have chapter leaders meetings um, so that your regional leaders can kind of work through the assessments, your recommendations. They may give you additional feedback that you can add to your assessment that may help you get to that next step so that you are fully developed. And here at our professionals RLC, next we're going to go into different zone meetings and the things that you learn from there. Think about this chapter assessment and how you can apply that to your chapter assessment so that you can rate yourself as a chapter. So the purpose of this is just so that our chapters are fully developed. We have a lot of amazing things going on within our chapters throughout our um, throughout the nation, and we want to make sure that we're documenting them and assessing them. And there's areas that we can improve on, we want to make sure that we are doing that. Um, so this is kind of the overview of the chapter self-assessment 
So Arthur, do we have a little time to view the live one? Yeah, go for it. OK, <laughs> um, I guess I will just present my screen. Uh, sorry, give me one second. I'm going to pull it up here. OK, can you all see my assessment? Um, yes, looks good. OK, perfect, thanks. Sorry, I, I may have a lot of tabs open here. Um, OK, so this is the dashboard. So this is kind of what I showed in the PowerPoint here. This will be uh, the aggregated data that goes into the different inputs. And here is where you would see your overall chapter health score. And um, if you keep going down, it will break down the components as well. Comms, finance, fundraising, um, programs, membership and admin. And again, this is based off of the data that I inputted. So if we go into comms, you will have a drop down menu here. And you could you will just rate yourself zero, one and two based off of the indicator. Um, so this is the, the development stage that I was uh, referencing before, and you will have that for um, each each component. Sorry, they're at the bottom. And so for some of the components, um, the de definition of fully developed it will be here. And this is so that if in the event um, the indicator is not very as clear on what fully developed is, you have additional information. So you can feel free to read over that. And then you're just going to walk through this entire uh, worksheet with your chapter leaders um, that you feel free to uh, that would benefit with doing this. And again, after you kind of go through the data and everything, you'll just type in here your uh, recommendations on what you can do to improve in order to get to the next level. So this is the spreadsheet and you would name it um, your own chapter here and kind of go from there. But this is the live document um, from the screenshots of where my size came from. So are there any questions? OK, yeah, I think it is, uh, you know, pretty self explanatory. And if you get through the document and you find yourself having additional questions, um, or whichever, feel free to reach out to your regional leaders, reach out to me, Arthur, anyone, and we can um, help you with that. But like I said before, as you kind of go through your upcoming zone uh, meetings for RLC, think about that as you can incorporate the, the information into your chapter health assessment. Thank you. I'll pass it back to you, Arthur. Awesome. Thanks, Taylor. And I'll just uh, give a little additional context because I'm sure that before we jump into the zone functionals, folks might be asking, you know, exactly how is this different or the same as CHIP? Taylor mentioned that this is kind of the first component of CHIP. For those who have completed any of the CHIP reports in the past, you'll note that much of the content is asking you to report about the activities that you're having throughout the year. Um, this is more looking at the operations, <laughs> right? Do you have the um, right foundations and competencies in place to be able to build upon to execute those solid programs and membership engagements throughout the year that you report on? And so the thinking is you would do this once at the beginning of the year, right? As Taylor mentioned, um, them coming back in October, and then you'd be able to review at the end of the year and see if you're able to, of course, improve your overall metrics. So next you'll be able to hear from your zone leaders. We're now gonna move to the functional trainings and this really falls hand in hand with the details in the chapter health assessment. 
you'll learn how to be great, of course, in your roles, and then do that evaluation in terms of what success looks like. And so with that, we'll move straight away to transition. We'll drop some links in the chat, but also as you're seeing the slide here, you can click on the link straight away from the presentation, and that'll take you to your applicable breakout room. So we have admin zone, for presidents and parliamentarians, uh, the program zone positions being led by region one, we have Nick Tarver driving uh, the membership zone, comms by region five, all of the secretaries and applicable positions, and last but not least, finance zone training led by region two. And you'll certainly have access to all of the content from the other zones. <laughs> I know many chapters may not have all of their leaders here representing, but the sessions will be recorded. So don't feel like you're missing anything. You can go to the one that you think is most fitting for today and watch the others later. And there is a question. Hand up, Seth. I think there was another question before that in the chat. I'm not sure if you saw that or answered that. Uh, yeah, so we will be emailing out the dashboard to all chapter leaders. Um, there was a link dropped in the chat where you can uh, open the file open in probably a web version. But if you're able to open that from that web browser, you can download the file if you wanted to get an early read and see it today. So let's transition now to the Eurozone meetings. I'll put it in the chat, but just a reminder to you, um, zone leads, make sure you're recording your meetings. I'll stop by each room and ensure that's being done. <laughs> 